right, I got this vacuum motor right here, and I got it hooked to the uh, the plug of the vacuum or the vacuum motor. The plug's pretty actually pretty long, goes around, and it comes up to the table, and I got it hooked right there. So, uh, see if you can see this. I have it on the the, the uh, volt side. There is his 20. Come on, focus. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It won't focus. Anyways, right there, the 20. It's reading a zero right now. And if I just barely turn it to the right, as you can see, it shows a one. Turn it, turning the fan right clockwise. And if I turn it left, it shows the same amount. Except it, if I turn it right, it shows a negative. If I turn it left, it's showing. Uh, I've gotten all the way up to 16 by spinning this hard reason it doesn't do it now. There's eight, um, seven, nine, and then if I uh, turn this off and put this over on 20 DCA amps, turn it on, it's showing zero, and same thing. If I just, I'm just barely turning it. See the numbers there, just barely turning, turning like this. Mm. See how slow I'm turning it, and this the numbers is minus. But if I turn it the other way, the minus goes away. So just barely turning it, there's four, seven. 0 0.75, 0 0.68, 0 0.75. If I spin it fast, I've gotten this up to 16. That's 8 point, 8.35, 10.42 it showed, 10.31. Just depending on how fast I can get it to spin, this is just slowly. This is that uh, motor I took out of that vacuum. I think it needs to be dusted though. It's easier to spin it clockwise, but it, it uh, shows negative. Anyways, I just wanted to show the output of this little motor. Um, it's a two speed. The first setting's low, then high. If I set it on the low setting, I try spinning it, it doesn't show anything. So it's got to be set on the high setting uh, to show anything. Uh, just to let people out there show what the output of this little motor is.